on my tape that I used. It was right here, right next to me. But getting up, I did find something that I've been looking for for the past three days. And that was my uh, drawstrings that I normally use. I've, I even ordered um, some more today that's not coming until, let's say, two more weeks, the end of this month. So that was disappointing. So I just found it. It was like for two days, been just sitting in my face saying, Here I am. What is wrong with you, woman? Here I am. That is really crazy. Everything happens for a reason. But this tape right here, this is the double sided tape that I use. And I really like it. I love this tape, it's very durable. So what I normally do with this tape is I, um, you know, I go on and take it off the road. And this last batch of tape that I ordered, it came small, medium, and large. Because I found that instead of using so much of the tape and cutting it and sticking it here or there, that when I saw that it came three different sizes, I felt like it was good to get that. Um, I felt like it was good to get that, so that when I only needed maybe a little, a little strip, I wouldn't have to rip it and stick it somewhere and um, have to deal with that. So, what I normally do is just start. Um, from one corner to the next and just lining it up on this um, on this board here. And this is some sticky sticky tape here. <laughs> it won't become unattached from wherever you put it at, that's for sure. I really like it. And I had it on top of a plastic bag and picked up some of the plastic bag. But anyway, that's not a good tape. So this is this is how I adhere this um forward to the bottom of the bag that pro provides the bags with that durability that's needed for long wear, long usage. And it looks like I need about um, five rows, um, about five rows of this. How it's gonna be a little bit, um, of the other that I probably need. I don't know if I need all of this. Um, two strips, two more strips of this probably be all I need. This is what I use to adhere this board to the bottom of the bag. And you really have to watch it when you um, put this to the bottom of the bag because it will not come up. It will not come up. So you want to aim correctly when you um, put this on the bottom of the bag. I'm gonna slide this over. I don't, I don't need to fill any gap in it. It's fine, cause it's gonna be encased in the um, in the vinyl wrap, and it's not going anywhere with this double-sided tape. It is on here for dear life. It is on here for dear life. So. Now I'm going to remove the backing off of it. Now, 
it's at all moments. I gotta get this right. It's very important to get this part on here correctly. First, you do want to measure your bed precisely correct. And there you have it. It's, it's a win-win. And it's really a plus when you measure the bag and you have just a tad bit of overhang with the bottom. That's really a plus to have a little bit of overhang. I'm going to just stick this. Um, well, I don't really have to. Well, let me see if I can stick that under the bag so it's all right. Yeah, so I won't show, but it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. But there you have it. That's the bottom of the bag. I love it. I'm doing the black and white. And my fabric is <laughs> like totally different, but this is what I'm going to use for the inside of the bag. And um, there's some fabric that I had purchased. I'm going to put this in the inside. I think that'll be pretty. Um, and it's just going to go on the inside. If I had a blue fabric like this, I would likely use it. But I don't have any that I want to use for the bag. So I'm going to cut this and glue this into the bag. Um, the same way I did with the brown one. I'm going to have a little bit of overhang, you know, a little bit of trim right around here, possibly. Or I might just leave it as is. Mm -hmm. But I like that little bit of... <laughs> I told my grandbaby, my bags is like funky. And she was like, ooh, haven't heard. That's not a word that's used. Hasn't been used since, I think she said the 80s. I said the 70s. But I like that funky twist to my bags. I like all of that. Like how I put this black and white the black and white flowers and then the zebra. I like that. That is just what I love. That's that's what I do. So I'm gonna put this in the inside and like I said I may have a about a half an inch overhang over the side and I may not. But I'm leaning more towards it. I have some zebra fabric like this that I could use but I don't want to use that. I don't think I'd rather I'd rather break it up with this, is what I'm thinking. So, yeah. So that's that. That is how I do this. And I'll just press it down so in the inside, just, you know, take your knuckles and just press it down. But trust and believe <laughs> it's on here for dear life. It ain't going nowhere. And this piece right here that goes in the inside, I don't put this part in the inside of the bag until after the fabric gets in. So, and then the next step would be um, to do the fabric. I need to cut that and get that down in here. And then the step after that, I'm going to use some grommets probably here, 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 and here just to lock everything in place. And then I have the two on both sides that I'm going to attach my pearls to. And then, after that, likely I will need to use three magnets to um, hold the bag in place so that it, would, it won't be, you know, I want it to go this way. I don't want it to stay out, so, you know, that's why I'm not going to do the drawstring. I like my bags a little like that i love that i just love it it's just awesome so that's what i'm gonna do with this bag so right now what i'm going to do looks like is to um and what i was also thinking about doing i think that's what i'm gonna end up doing i'm going to take some of the pearls like what i'm gonna put around her glasses and her necklace and i will probably be putting some um, flowers in her ears, probably red since this is going to overhang some. 
I really won't necessarily go on with the red, black, and white, but just a touch would be all that's needed. So I'll probably put a red um, rose. I may have a red rose or some kind of red um, paper flower in her ear. And what I was thinking that I was going to do earlier on is my flat beads that I'm going to put around her neck and her glasses. And I may or may not do them in red. I don't know. I, I wanted to keep it black and white, really. I was doing a black and white bag. But I think I'm going to put those same flat beads around Africa to outline that. I think that would be awesome as well. So, but I'm going to um, cut this fabric and um, attach that to this phone. And I'll be right back. Well, I'm going to cut the fabric out, and then I'm going to come back, and we're going to do that together. We're going to, together, attach the fabric to the phone. All right. <laughs> 